Okay, so this is where we are staying for the weekend. Check out our little cabin. There it is. Got a table. Got like a heater thing there. Got one platform, got this ladder and a loft up there. And Jocelyn and I will sleep up there. Super nice. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and now we are at this remote cabin on an island in Alaska. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. There's a bit of rain today, but we are here with Matt and Leah, uh, who are who run Barnacle Foods. You guys might have heard of them before. But yeah, we've been in contact, and here in Alaska, there's these remote cabins that people can rent out, uh, and it's quite beautiful. And we are at one of them, and there's no other cabins here. It's just us on this beach, and it's gorgeous, and there's salmon jumping on the beach, um, and there's crabbing opportunity right in front of here too. So we're gonna enjoy this beautiful day. We're probably gonna get, oh, there's a fish that just jumped right there. Let's get out there, it's a bit rainy. Not too bad, just. Probably pretty close to peak low tide here. Where are the fish? We should see some jumping. Oh yeah. Is good. It's a nice, sweet drop off here. Oh. Dude, I just got snagged. Oh. Did I? I don't really want to break off yet. It's a little too soon. Oh, there you go. Came off. Yeah, there's a... I guess something probably from that debris. Yeah. Oh, there's a fish. Nice. There we go, Matt, with the first fish. What is it? I want to see it. All right, guys, this is Matt from Barnacle Foods. And we're out here together. Oh, nice. What is it? What kind is that? Pink salmon. Pink salmon? Look at that. Nice. Yeah. First catch. Salmon. We'll let this one go. All right. Sweet. Hit pretty close, huh? Mm -hmm. How cool is this? Fishing from shore for salmon <laughs> in Alaska. This is so cool. Now we just need to get one. Got one. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. Dang. False alarm. I think that was kelp. I would have been perfect timing if I actually got one. I think I'm just hitting bottom there. Oh, no, it just took it. Oh my God. <laughs> he just chased it. Hitting bottom there. Oh, no, it just took it. Oh my God. <laughs> he just kind of took a nibble at the, at the lure and took off. Didn't get hooked. All right, we're going to get one right now. There's one. There's one. Got one. There's Sean, baby. Not too big. Oh, came off. Oh, damn. Right when I was thinking about switching up the lure, because nothing was committing to it. I got a couple chases, but nothing was committing, but I just had that that guy on now, so I'll keep it on for a few more casts. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. <laughs> These guys are just jumping right in front of me. Just saying hello, good morning. These pink salmon uh, bite pretty weird. They bite and then they don't really take off, so you don't really, they just feel kind of a weight at first. Got one. 
Got one. Yeah, that was a totally weird bite too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, okay. Oh, he doesn't really want to come in. Not that big. But I think he's hooked pretty well. Ooh, this guy's got more energy in him. Jeez. Nice. Oh, wow, wow. Wow. All right, I'm going to tighten button down a little bit. I only have 10 pound test leader, so it's not very heavy. This guy is about a, probably about a six pound fish. No, not even. Four pounds, maybe. All right, let's land him. Male pink salmon right here. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go. You could find a more silver one, maybe a bigger one. Loose. There he goes. There he goes. Very nice. All right, we're gonna switch this up now. We'll try a flying C. Oh, there's one. Small one. Oh. Oh, 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 not bad. Fish on? Yep, fish on. I'm gonna keep him down. Alright, flying C, second cast. Whoa, 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 whoa. To run. <laughs> this is pretty fun. It's decent. Ten pound test. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, you think it's a couple? Oh, yeah, they, they are. He's doing the the death rolls, huh? Whoa! Oh, dang! <laughs> Silver salmon, should we keep it? Yeah! Nice! There we go. There we go. There we go. Got him on the flying sea. <laughs> Slippery out here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a fun little fight. Oh. There you go. Jocelyn's got one. Let him run if he wants to run. Oh, real, but don't keep the keep the tension. But if it's, ooh, look at that! He wants to. Oh, he's going wild. Maybe it's a coho. Oh, jeez, <laughs> he's going wild. Let me get over here. There we go. Oh, my GoPro died mid-fight, but Jocelyn got it in. Good job. Thanks. There you go, Jocelyn with her first catch in Alaska. <laughs> Good job. First salmon from shore. <laughs> this is pretty cool. It's only my second salmon. Second ever. salmon ever? Yeah. I got this one. Jocelyn got this one. Both females. <laughs> I think, and this one's a pink. This one is a coho. Their faces are a little bit different. And they got a little more pattern. The, uh, the pinks have a little more of those, the wider dots on the back and the coho's not so much. We'll flame up later um, and then we're going to have some breakfast right now and we'll just go on to our next activity. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna fillet this fish now. We just had a little breakfast. Delicious little smoked salmon and some kelp pickles on there and hot sauce and all of that good stuff. If you guys want any of those kelp ingredients, make sure to check out these guys, Barnacle Foods. Gutted it and yep, this one's a female, so it's got a little bit of eggs in there. Just a little, this one's a, the coho. Look at that beautiful orange meat there. Nice. Go. And we'll just leave these out for the bears. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Want pro? Oh, okay. Give them a try. Yeah. Fresh. Fresh. We're going to try Jocelyn's uh, <laughs> pink salmon roll. Pops. That's good. That's good. It's not bad. Fresh flavor. Yeah. Very fresh. Very fresh. <laughs> you know, a little pop to it. Not. It's a very. It's a pretty mild flavor. Okay, so we're on the big boat now. You can see our cabins over there. That's the cabin we're staying in. And you see, there's nobody else around. Got this whole little part of the island to ourselves. Now we're gonna head out on the big boat. We're probably gonna do a little crabbing, uh, maybe a little fishing. We're gonna grab some kelp. Uh, and then maybe we'll try to find some wild strawberries too. That'll be cool. Dawson's really looking forward to that one. Yeah. <laughs> so you saw Matt earlier from Barnacle Foods and then also we have Leah here. And yeah, so they run Barnacle. Um, and yeah, they make some great products. So they rented out that cabin for us and we're staying there together. And yeah, we are uh, gonna go harvest some kelp right now so we can Use that for our dish later. Looking forward to tonight. We're gonna make a feast. Thanks guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming Definitely. along. Thanks for coming to Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing first? Well, we're watching some whales right now. Doing some whale watching right now. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Look at this guy just gliding along. Huge. Look at all the kelp. <laughs> all the bullwhip kelp. How can you tell if it's past the peak? Is so, this the color? Yeah, the color starts to get a little lighter brown. Mm, I mean, and that then one I can the see. fronds you can see are only yeah. about five feet long. Oh, yeah. Or even less. Oh, yeah. And that means they've dropped their reproductive. Sorry already. Oh. oh yeah. Sorry. Harvesting kelp with the kelp people. <laughs> oh, so, that's yeah. when they drop it, huh? That's their reproductive yep. parts so that the, they dropped. The spots that are missing those holes are the sori, which the hold sori. all the spores. Yeah. And so this time of year, they have pretty well developed, and so they'll drop that sori, and it floats down and shoots out billions of spores and seeds next year's kelp bed. Early summer, they can put on a foot a day, at least. A foot a day? A foot a day, yeah. yeah. So they grow up from 60 feet down sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, and then they'll sometimes have fronds that go 50 to 60 feet out behind them. So we grab it and we go down to where it starts to get about pencil width. Cut it hollow tube, the stipe. That goes to the pickles. That goes to the pickles, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The hot sauce. And then we got these gorgeous fronds um, yeah. that are delicate and dry up really nicely for all kinds of seasonings, yes. firakake. See how it tastes right yeah. now. <laughs> it's a little kale-y. A little bit. Tastes like kale? Cabbage oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get a cabbage. Yeah, like cabbage -y. Totally. Yeah. This tastes good. Yeah, it tastes good. Mm, yeah. Is there a lot of kelp farmers? It's a brand new industry yeah. um, up here in yeah. Alaska. It's been around for many, many years. Other places, it doesn't require water, it yeah. doesn't require land, it doesn't require fertilizer. So as yeah. a food, mm -hmm. it's pretty amazing. There's yeah. few other foods that can boast all of those qualities and the nutritional and yes. you know, flavor that kelp brings to 
we're stoked on bull kelp. Yeah. The stipe, which is really unique to the bull kelp, which mm-hmm. yeah. we'll have to try as well. Yeah. Very crunchy and hearty. It tastes, or it has texture like an apple. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And so we chop that up and we use it in our hot sauce and our salsa pickles. Pickles. Like you've made. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys are making a lot of cool new products with kelp. A lot of kelp recipes. And I think we'll be uh, trying to make one of our own. We are. Yeah. We're stoked. All the boats are making their way over here. Yeah, they've heard the news. They're coming for they the think, kelp. They... <laughs> Don't come for our kelp. <laughs> and if we can remove that carbon from the ocean, Whale in the background. Whales. <laughs> <laughs> then um, we can remove it in a really renewable, sustainable way. So by farming seaweeds or by harvesting healthy wild kelp beds um, in small amounts. We're doing our coastlines a big favor. A good favor. So we gotta look for halibut? Next thing, yep. Next activity. <laughs> Let's, next activity, try to catch a halibut. They're, they're all big here. Are you going to have to shoot it? <laughs> I don't know. It might be. <laughs> all right, we are at our halibut spot now. So we got to wait on there just with the leader, five foot leader, going to a herring. We'll see if we can catch a halibut. You want to that little thing? Oop, getting hit. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's it. Fish on. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, it came off, I think. Yeah. I don't think. Oh, he's still on. I don't know. I have a 16 ounce weight, so it's pretty heavy. The weight itself, but there's a fish on there. Alright, take the, turn the clicker off. <laughs> I was just about to put it in the rod holder. Yeah. Fish on, guys! First fish, I don't think it's, uh, I don't know. We'll see what it is. I don't really know. Oh, getting hit over there too. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a, whoa. Never caught that, never caught one of these guys. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Pacific cod. That is Pacific a big cod. cod. Oh really? Oh That's a good one. Yeah, good. they taste really good. Nice. There it is. First catch within three minutes <laughs> of being in the water. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Mm, come on. There it is. There it is. Got him. Got him. There's a fish on there. Not a cod. Well, no halibut yet. Dawson's bringing one up now. Let's see what this is. Oh, oh. oh rods are going off. Fish everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't, they don't, they dive straight Ooh. down too. Mm-hmm. You're a good you go. bite. Fish on. Oh, fish hey. on. Oh, I jumped for two. <laughs> No, go ahead, go ahead. You take it, take it. No, 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 go, ahead, go, 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 go. You, I got me. Yeah. You got it, Leah. You got him. All right, Jocelyn's almost up. He's almost up. Come on, let's see it. And there's a halibut. Oh. Yeah, you got a halibut. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Small. Yeah. Yeah, oh, oh, he, oh, this one's going off. Can you take this one? All right, all right, I'll take this one. Oh, wait, just leave it in the water, Jocelyn. Don't let it. That's like borderline what we tend to keep, but since we don't have any. I think we should keep one little one. And then if we keep that oh, oh, you just got a big Ooh. one. Is it halibut? I think so. I don't think yeah. so. Yeah. Is that it's going to be tasty no matter what? Yeah, this is a good eating size. Some halibut. Can we get the... So yeah, well, yeah, that's a smaller one, huh? Yeah, definitely. This is a chicken. This is your classic chicken. Classic chicken. Maybe a pigeon. A pigeon. One, one step below a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're trying to decide but. if we should keep that or let it go, and we'll see what Leah's got on here. She's got, yeah, she's got some nice on here. This is my kind of 
condition. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's coming up. Here we go. Oh, that's a halibut. That's a halibut. Okay. That with the gas. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a babe. It's it's good size. It's a good eater. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, fish. First halibut. Good mm -hmm. job. Yep. Oh, I dropped it all the way back down and then brought it back up. Some small though. Oh, another halibut? Yeah. Another halibut. Are we sure? It's about the same size. Yeah, we could let it go then. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll save my limit for a bigger one. Yeah, yeah, we'll let this guy go. Yeah, we'll let him go. See, these, these are Pacific halibut. And these are more diamond shaped than the ones we have in California, which are California halibut. They're much more diamond shaped, these guys. A little different species than what we catch. And these guys get much bigger. 100 plus pounds. Fishing in Alaska is easy. <laughs> you just drop some bait down. It's not even that fresh and they just eat everything. Oh yeah, I was going to use the salmon head. I forgot. Yeah. There it that's is. That's bite. yeah. That's a nice one. Yeah, that that's a good like one. A right there. Yeah. That's a good one. Harder when you have to no, do when this. No, when I saw when I saw you set the hook, it looked like a good one. It stayed down. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Yeah, there you go. Nice and slow here. That's what we're looking at. Oh yeah, Allie. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Keep that guy. Yeah. <laughs> hold it, Jocelyn. Here, let me hold this for you. Hold it up. Hold it up. And yeah. 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 <laughs> nice. Woo. <laughs> good work. Nice okay. job. That's a, good that's a nice one. Yeah. That's, that's nice. like that's a good size. That's right? perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect Turkey. eating. Sweet. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> So this is the coho salmon that I caught earlier and I'm going to use this head as bait. See if I could catch me a, a giant. All right, send it down. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Get on there. I'm going to try to set it. Sure. No. Put this back in here. I might throw your fish after you. Oh yeah? Wanna <laughs> <laughs> play with this one? Sure. Not that not massive. Oh, one hook in. Woo! <laughs> there you go. Nice one. Sweet. Nice. Yeah. All right, guys. We ended up getting four halibut and the Pacific cod. So successful fishing. Or on to the next thing. We're gonna try to get some strawberries, some wild strawberries. Okay. So we left the boat over there. Took this little guy, and now we are in bear country. <laughs> We're gonna go. Find some bears oh, and some berries. <laughs> oh, that's a big poop. Intact. Pretty intact. Wow, look at that. Oh, yeah. You just kind of step on it. Cool. <laughs> that's big. Looks like he's eating grass. You can see. Yeah, yeah it's very grassy. Yeah. Could you tell if it's a black or a brown bear? Based on size. Um, that looks to be a brown bear. Oh, brown yeah, bear. That's a big poop. That's a big one. <laughs> that's a big boy. Not a whole lot. We have a couple of species that are... Oh, yeah, I see one over there. Oh, got yeah. strawberry. Mm -hmm. I can pick it on. <laughs> All right, let's see it, John. You saw one? white ones, as long as they're soft, are also... Um, oh, my gosh, they're so good. Are they ripe? 
Or also red, but yeah, oh. I think I'll bear peed on it. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Hmm. How's that? Wild. Wild. Oh, I found one. Let me try this one. Yeah, I don't know why you brought the bags. Like, they're all going. Well, I know. Mm, <laughs> whoa. You let me have my leg. Oh. Oh, that's great. Oh, look at that. More. They have way more flavor than a store bought. Yeah, for sure. I say one goes in my mouth, one goes in the bag, but they're all going in my mouth. They're all going. In. Don't forget we're in bear country. Hey bear! Oh my god. It's so sweet. It's so good. What's amazing is like every week something different is in season. Oh look at that. <laughs> Epic strawberry picking. Yeah, it's like the size of my head. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna eat all this at once. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Just imagine a, the best strawberry flavor and multiply that times 10. And that's what these strawberries taste like. Holy. <gasps> okay, we are back at the cabin. We gotta collect some firewood, start a fire, prepare some dinner, clean some fish. You know how I like to fillet my halibut? If you haven't seen it, go ahead. So I'm gonna score all three sides here the tail and then the two, the fins. And go into that flesh. Ooh, a little rain is starting. Oh, heavy rain. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm at the spine. Go up the spine a little. Scrape the other side of the spine. Hold that fillet. I'm just gonna peel away. There's the halibut. Half of halibut. Once you get to this part, it's really easy. You just basically peel away at the fillet. You just kind of carve away, peel it, just little by little. There you go. So Matt and Leah went to uh, go see if they can find some firewood. And also they went to drop a crab ring uh, to see if they can pull up any Dungeness crab really quick. Uh, and But it's raining so hopefully we can cook on the fire. making a, a drying apparatus for the kelp. Bushcraft. Then we are also going to make some paella. Well, this is Alaskan style paella. <laughs> with uh, all the things we caught today. Well, not all of them, but I think we're gonna put some of the stuff in there. And Matt is back out 
on the Zodiac and it sounds like he got a keeper. So we got a crab. There we go, he's got two keeper dungies. Nice. So I was gonna put this uh, halibut in the paella, but so since he got the crab, I actually chopped up, chopped up this uh, halibut and I'm gonna add that into the coleslaw. So that should be really good. And I just did a taste test of this halibut and gosh, it's delicious. It's so tasty. It's super good. Hey. Straight halibut. Straight halibut. Oh yeah. That's good, huh? So good. Look at this crab yeah. running away. <laughs> Making a run for it. Yeah. Yeah, these are big. Last so, minute dungies right here. Nice. Legal size. Was it legal size is six and a half here? Six and a half, yeah. Six and a half. Jeez, these are big. Seven, eight, eight and a half maybe. Oh my gosh. That's boy. a huge dungeon. <laughs> that is big. This thing is freaking enormous. Oh my god, look oh my god. So much meat on that. Jeez. So I just added some sea salt in there. I'm also gonna add some some of this right here. And also the kelp, that dehydrated kelp that they're making right now. We're gonna crush that up and add it in there, mix it all up. That'll be our uh, little, the real coleslaw, sort of like ceviche too, because I put lemon juice in it, and then these guys, these halibut is gonna cook. So it's more of a more of a coleslaw. So good. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, thank you. All right, here we go. We're gonna start the paella now. Got some sea salt. Some onions and garlic, because why not? This garlic is delicious. Tomato paste. I added some tomatoes, so some broccoli that we're putting in there, and also the broccoli stems too, because broccoli stems is the best part of the broccoli. There we go. All right, we got the venison stock. We're gonna put that in now. All right, the stock is in. I'm gonna heat that up a little bit and add our main paella ingredient, which is right here in my pocket, which is a little bit of saffron. This stuff is expensive, but it'll be worth it. It's so fragrant. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Put all of it in. All right, I'm gonna add the rice. You just add it directly to this and it absorbs all of the moisture. So it's not gonna be, it looks like soup right now. But when it's done, there's not gonna be any liquid. And you don't wanna stir it too much because by that you don't wanna bring out the starch. Like risotto, risotto, you wanna stir it a lot if you wanna bring out the starch. But by is not like that. There we go. I think that should be enough rice. Nice. Real hot? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, ha. Yeah, ha. Hot. Turn the heat up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. The crab legs. Then we're gonna put that in there. This is gonna be so good. <laughs> all right, that's pretty much all the crab that fits in there. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I just took a sip of this. And it tastes so good. <laughs> oh man, that is awesome. All right, we're just gonna add this in there. Oh my gosh. There's good things happening in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, cover it back up. Nice. Now we're just snacking on the Dungeness crab, and it's so good. I, I don't know why, but this, this is probably the best Dungeness crab I've ever had, right? Doing the same thing. Right? I don't know the why. texture is like, it's different, it's so good. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. I'm gonna lift the, uh, lift the lid off, see how we look in here. Oh, 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 yes! That looks amazing. Yeah, that's gonna be about done in one minute. We're gonna get the nice, nice uh, crisp on the bottom, the sokorat, and uh, we'll be eating. Yeah, there's a little bit of liquid left. Uh, Leah's gonna also add a little bit of kelp on top as well. Go ahead. My specialty. <laughs> <laughs> The kelp lady. <laughs> kelp lady is here. <laughs> kelp rings. <laughs> kelp delivery. <laughs> kelp delivery. <laughs> Alaskan paella. One right in the middle. Yeah, perfect. Okay guys, it is time to eat. <laughs> cool. I gotta check the bottom here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Perfectly. Oh uh, the salt, the smoky salt. And we'll finish it off with some Alaskan sea salt and uh, perfect. All right, thank you for today, guys. It was awesome. We caught so many things in such a short amount of time. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. Had enough to report for berries, whale yeah. watch. Berries, whale watch. Freaking caught like I caught like four salmon in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> you have to crazy. let them go. I know, I had to let them go. <laughs> Alright guys, enjoy. It's very good. That's bomb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why everything tastes Pressure. The water is cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> this is glacier fed water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <This is> very <laughs> true. <laughs> the freshest water you can have. Oh, and the, and the, and the slaw is really good with the kelp. It's with the grilled kelp. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Smoky. Mm hmm. Yeah. Umami. Yeah, this Dungeness crab is. It's pretty crazy how good it is. <laughs> I mean, the dungeon crab back home is great. It's amazing. Somehow this is even better. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to finish this up. Thanks for watching another episode. What an amazing day. If you guys haven't had any products from Barnacle Foods, make sure to check them out. I'll leave a link in the description. They got pickled kelp. They got hot sauce. They, they got kelp salsa and all kinds of kelp products. Uh, that's yeah, very actually like really delicious too. So make sure to go go and get one. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time. Peace. Yeah, I never made paella before, but I'm a believer now. I'm be trying to make this again. Yeah, you should. I don't know why we don't. Great camp. It's perfect. Yeah, it's no it is really good like over over fire? the campfire food, yeah. Yeah. And you just like put whatever you catch. And it looks badass too. <laughs> totally. It's good for the